She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Welcome to my lab, where I make bizarre creations. Today, I'm drawing with... Miss Cummings! I'm L.A., and we decided to choose two old paintings to recreate in our styles. So, do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? You can go first. So, I decided to paint Lady with Ermine. So, I struggled with sketching it out at first, so I sketched it traditionally. And then I imported it into Photoshop and worked over that sketch. And I tried to line it up with the original painting that I have underneath. That's dope. Thanks. Um, that's me struggling with lips. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like the cat eyes. Look. Yeah, I thought about giving her some more defined makeup compared to her plain face that she has before. Mm. Really mole. Yeah, I like adding beauty marks to my art Look styles. Look at those big ass. What? Titties. I thought you meant the hands. Um, one part of this painting is that the hands are a bit big because people think Leonardo didn't study someone actually positioning themselves that way. They think that he just studied hands separately, so it doesn't really match up correctly. That's interesting. Yeah. So this is an ermine? Yeah. So is it like a goat? Or? I thought it was a fair, a goat. Oh. Where do you see a, have I, you seen a goat? I mean, yeah, but it looks like a little lamb. Like It has fingers. It has fingers? Do lambs have fingers? No, they, they have, have hooves. Oh, Ooh, look at her, look at her, um, her, her baby hairs. Yeah, that's me struggling with baby hairs also. I had to look up a reference. No, um, you, you didn't struggle with like doing regular baby hairs. You just have to really do it like multiple times. Um, um, around this point, I was trying to study how he did the coloring. And since I chose to change the colors a bit because I wanted it in my own style. Um, well, I thought about coloring the dress lavender but then I decided to stick with the original colors. So this I'm trying to figure out how to add those in, also adding in more details. Interesting. So you do line art and then you do coloring. Yeah. Gotcha. Hmm. One thing I struggle with, yeah, the shading, it was a big struggle as well as that dark background. Shading. Shading. <laughs> Are we going black and white? Yeah, I use grayscale to figure out the values and make sure the contrast is where it's supposed to be to make it pop out. That's smart. I should start doing that. Thanks. Giving me pointers. Teaching. <laughs> Brad, not a teacher. Around this point, I'm adjusting the curves and the levels because I wanted it a bit more golden to mimic that golden paint. I ain't never seen this before. Mimicking levels. And I'm using a clipping mask to make sure that the colors are where I want them to be and positioning them well. Look at that blush. Mm. She's starting to look real good. She's sexy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know about that because she's missing eyebrow. <laughs> I don't got no eyebrows. You have eyebrows. I fill them in. I mean, she didn't even do that though. Well, this is the 1800s. What is she supposed to do? Use some dirt? They had makeup back then. They would take minerals. Coal. They would take coal and mushed up berries. So you want to take some coal and put it on your eyebrows? You have access to makeup now. <laughs> but that back then, that's what they did. Okay. That. Look at those tits. No, stop. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. You've Not already objectified it. <laughs> okay, so she put on the orange eye. Oh! oh! Yeah. We got it. Yeah. She has a really nice skin color. 
But hey. funny. Around this point, I changed all of that. <laughs> yeah. I thought. I thought the coloring was too mushy, so I started adding in some harder lines. Um, the dress was also a bit confusing because there's all these patterns on it. I love patterns. I can't imagine what it would realistically look like, though. There were like you music some, notes on the sleeves. You yeah. should get some of these dresses. You ever been to a Renaissance fair? I don't want to go to a nerd fair. It's not a nerd fair. You're judging. They have <laughs> they have turkey legs there. Like, nerd food. Turkey legs, apple pie. Where are you talking Ew. about? You don't like apple pie? No. <sighs> Back to this dress. <laughs> this dress is fire. Apple pie is good. You even got you even got it down to the to the. The little curves. Yeah, the wrinkles in the dress. Yeah. Yeah, I got kind of lost when I was doing them, so I did them like a couple of times to figure it out. I just wonder how you're going to do the spur. I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I did it very simply. Some. That's just regular shading. It makes it look furry. Fair it, furry. <laughs> no, this is the end of it. Ooh. So that's the entire piece. Um, okay. And I want to zoom, zoom in. in. You want to what? Oh, I want to zoom in on the details of like the necklace and the head jewelry because um, I didn't manage to record all of that, like the little details of the dress and stuff like that. Gotcha. So this is it. That's dope. Thanks. So did you want to tell us anything about your piece? All right. Do y'all know about Starry Night? Because, I think everyone knows about Starry Night. <laughs> well, Van Gogh created it. He's Dutch. And um, he cut off his ear like a while back. Van Gogh from Clone High? No, like Vincent Van Gogh. Oh. Yeah. He, he had orange hair. L.A. likes orange hair. <laughs> Um, <laughs> not Van Gogh. He, he had some nice self-portraits, but this one is a nice galaxy night, you know, regular old painting. Okay. And, you know, I do bandana style with everything. So he had to do it with this. And this is my mother's favorite painting, too. Oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and play it. Um, we just go ahead and start painting because I, I forgot to start um, recording, but, you know. Keeping it going. We're a little zoomed in here, but you know, we're going <laughs> hella fast. Um, trying to keep up with my um, painting. Um, yeah, we just uh, we just keep like drawing on the on the canvas. That's how I do it. What kind of paint did you use? Acrylic. Oh. Um, acrylic is the only paint I use, unless it's like a nice oil painting. I haven't done oil since school, but yeah, I love acrylic paint. And this is where I start doing the bandana. Um, started out with acrylic paint, then I went to fabric markers because I ran out of the paint that I had. But it's all good. It's all good. I'm surprised your hand is just right in the canvas. I would be scared that the paint wouldn't be wet. I mean, wouldn't be dry. It dry quick as uh, hell. Like, even if I throw down a lot, it dries quick. I see. I usually spray my canvas with water to keep it, like, wet so I can move it around easily. Oh, okay. That's how your stuff is so smooth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mine's a lot rough. I use a Mr. Bottle. Okay. Yeah, I need to start using mine. So this is where I start doing the stars. I kind of did, like, um, different yin-yang kind of bandana styles inside of the stars. Oh. And it's a little fuzzy, but we're going to get clear. We're going to get clear. Hold up. So why did you choose to incorporate um, the Taoist yin-yang symbol? Um, because I'm a spiritual person, so I like being balanced. And I think that this painting is very balanced with, like, just the idea of bandana is my symbol of freedom. You always have to be balanced. You always have to, like, have control and just be equal. So I think that... With this, I took it to another level instead of 
this starry night type of thing. It was more of like everything's more <laughs> starry, galaxy, freedom. I see. But yeah. So did you like look into any like meaning with the painting, like the original artist, anything like that? Or? We don't. He's dead. We don't give a crap about him. <laughs> no. <laughs> And who, like, who really cared? I mean, I remember learning about this painting back in the day. Um, I think he just did it when he was depressed, and yeah. I did it when I was lit. The so, view from a mental hospital. That's why I was wondering oh. if there was anything. <laughs> well, I'm bipolar, so there you go. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Were you in a mental hospital? <laughs> I'm not in a mental hospital, but, you know, I could be. So there we go. Um, yeah, you know, most of my paintings these days are not really meaningful to the point of meaning, you know, um, we just wanted to do this for fun because why not? I wanted to do it to study the works of the great masters and understand well, their technique. <laughs> well, F those masters. No. They're dead. Like, where are we learning from them? The what they left behind? What did they leave behind? Because they should be That's learning true. from us. We're better than them at this point. Like, look at yeah. this. Okay. It's blurry. It's fuzzy. <laughs> what am I looking at? I don't know what we're looking at. But there we go. Starry Night Bandana. Well, that was great. It um, was. I like the pieces that we both made. I did, too. Um, I don't know about those hot takes that you had. <laughs> But if you enjoyed this video, please drop a comment. Like, um, share, subscribe. Yeah, check out Miss Cummings' channel. What's your channel name? Miss Cummings. And what would be a video you would suggest someone to watch on your channel? Every single one of them. No, what's like a beginner video? The beginner video, you can start by watching the eyes body paint video. Okay, great. So if you check out her channel, watch her eyes video. Make sure to leave a comment, like, and share this. And you can also check out my art on Instagram at Love Lab Production. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.